Hi everyone, my name is Claire and I make videos on motherhood. I do two videos a week, one vloggy type video and the other um, any type of video to do relating to with motherhood. Um, so this video is all going to be about breast pumps. My little boy Samuel is 12 weeks old and I am exclusively breastfeeding. Now this journey has been a difficult one to say the least. Um, it's been pretty up and down and there's been times where um, you know I thought I was gonna stop breastfeeding because it was just too much um, but I've managed to push through and we are exclusively breastfeeding now. At the beginning because Samuel was losing a bit too much weight um, I had to top up with formula but I'm going to talk about what I did to get my supply up and the products that I've used that I've found beneficial. So at the beginning, Samuel latched on almost straight away after he was born and we managed to get a little feed in. Obviously at that point, you aren't producing proper milk, you're producing colostrum, um, which is the really good stuff for them. So he, he was managed to uh, take that in, which was really good. Um, but I still wasn't good at it. You know, it was a bit clumsy and a bit difficult and my milk was taking a bit long to come in so I had to start using um, top up for the formula and to get my milk up I started using a breast pump. So the breast pump I used was the Bella Baby. It looks like this. I just got it on Amazon. It is a wireless breast pump so you don't need to have it plugged into the wall every time you're breastfeeding you charge up the little battery pack this one you charge this up and um it, the battery is really really good it lasts a good i don't know 10 15 pumps if you're pumping 10 minutes on each boob so it, it really it's it's a good wee thing this um so this connects to the two um this is all clean by the way it's all been sterilized um connects to the two uh, breast bits that go onto your boobies and the hoses come out of them into the breast pump. So it's standard one, it works the same way as most of them do. Um, I wanted to get this one, so this one was at Amazon and I think it was about £30. Um, I wanted to get the double boob ones just so it would cut the time in half, you know, I didn't have to swap boobs every time. Um, if I was using that long term, then I was going to look into getting a completely uh, hands-free one, the one that just kind of sits in your bra. Um, so I used that at the beginning and it did, it really did boost my milk supply. I fed for as long as Samuel wanted to feed on both boobs and then I pumped on both boobs for 10 minutes after each feed. So it was really grueling and really difficult. I found these bits really, really uncomfortable on my boobs. Um, so what I did, I felt like it was like rubbing um, because it's constantly like sucking, sucking and it it was really uncomfortable so what I ended up doing was using a bit of Lansinol on my boobs before I started sorry the cat's just walking right in front um, so he didn't <laughs> thank goodness he didn't knock anything over um, so what I did to help my my nipples and my boobs was use a bit of Lansinol or any kind of nipple balm on my boob before I put this on and it helped kind of lubricate it a little bit I know that sounds a bit weird but it helped kind of lubricate it and it was less irritated and less sore um, after every session because I was doing it so much it was just getting irritated and it was very uncomfortable and then after you were using these you were then feeding again and it was uncomfortable when he, Samuel was latching on and feeding so it was a bit of a vicious cycle but I, I worked out that if I used some kind of lubricant, it did help ease the pain. Still a bit sore, but it did help ease the pain. So this Bella Baby, I would recommend it. The battery life was great. Loads of different settings to make it as comfortable as possible for you. And um, yeah, relatively cheap for what it is. The next item I got was the Haka. So this um, little guy is silicone-y. Um, it attaches onto your boob and you just kind of create a suction onto your boob like that. I mean, everybody's got these on YouTube. You see loads of mums using them and um, raving about them. I didn't find this caught a lot. I don't know. I, I just didn't have as much letdown or there wasn't as much milk coming out when I was feeding on one side. You know, I, I don't know. But I, I, I mean, it was catching some, but not anything worth keeping if you know what I mean so um as much as it did catch some 
I didn't use this as much as I thought I was going to use it. Um, it was £12 off Amazon, so it wasn't huge expense, so I'm not terribly annoyed that um, it didn't work out for me. But I know that some people really, really rave about it, but it just didn't. It didn't happen for me, so maybe if I have children in the future, it might um, happen, but I don't get a lot of um, extra milk. I don't get, I don't have to use breast pads every day. Samuel eats all the milk, I think, that, that I produce. Um, so I don't have any excess supply that goes into this really. And the last product I'm going to talk about is the one that I use all the time. I use it almost every single day is the hand pump. So this one is a Tommy Tippy brand. Um, it comes with a little bo a bottle bit that catches the milk and tells you how much you're pumping. Um, and this just unscrews off and it's got the wee kind of filtery bit and and the flange bit that, inserts, that goes onto your boob and I find this one really good. So this one you can um, control how quickly you're pumping, you can control how far you're going to um, lift this up, so how much suction there's going to be, so it can be as comfortable as you want it, you can take your time with it. I just find this fantastic. This um, is on the market for about I think it's about just over 20 pounds. I got gifted it actually, and with this you get lots of these wee milk pouches as well um, that you can write how much you're collecting and you can freeze it, you can refrigerate it, whatever you want to do with it. But I find this one was the most comfortable to use, um, the easiest to use, and you know, you could just sit after feeding and just pump away and um, you know, for as long as you want and you can start and stop when you feel like it. It doesn't hurt my boobs at all. Yeah, I can't rate this one highly enough. Um, the Tommy Tippy hand pump. So those are the three breast pumps that I've been using in my breastfeeding journey and I will continue to use the Tommy Tippy one going forward. Um, I will keep the other two in case I have more children and I need to do the same or you know they'll work a bit better for me going forward, I'm not sure. But I will keep them and carry on um, on my breastfeeding journey. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you've got any questions, please let me know and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.